the four signs to spot jealous friends and family members, you know? And it's crazy that they don't hide it. That's the thing. Like, they, they can't hide it. It's who they are now, you know? And I blame life. Before I get into the signs yet, I want to let you know life creates haters. You start out with a brightly lit candle when you get punched in the face. You don't accomplish the things you set out to accomplish. And you become bitter. And you start to hate. So, here are the four signs, man. Yo, they will never celebrate your wins. You mentioned you started a business. Even worse, you have a business that's doing well. Their reaction is going to be silence. You's like, yo, you started a business, and they're just going to be like, okay, like one word. One word reply. Number two, check the vibe. Do a vibe check. How is the vibe around them? Do they make you feel like you're bragging when you're talking about something important like your business? You want them to be involved. You want to bounce ideas off of them, share your thoughts. But if they have no input and you're the only one talking, or maybe they even quickly change the conversation. They want to change the subject every time. How does that make you feel? How do you feel around them? Do they uplift you or are they draining your energy? Three, trust your intuition. You know what I'm saying? That inner voice. Because like real friends, when you talk to them about your accomplishments, they're going to be interested. They're going to show some interest. They're going to want to know more. They're going to encourage you. They're going to celebrate your wins because your wins is their wins. You know what I'm saying? Just listen to the inner voice, man. Uh, four, they're always going to be competing with you. They're secretly competing with you. They're thinking, why you and not them? And everything they do, it has to benefit them, even if they're helping you. They're very selfish people, man. If you're telling a story, they want to tell a better story. If you're talking about your pain, they want to up you on and talk about how much more pain they're in, how much more they're hurt than you are. You know? You know, in their head, they're thinking, you know, they're better than you. They really don't respect you. So if you're around people like that and you feel it, Yo, just get away from them. I know friends and family, you're not going to be able to just get away from them. You're not going to just go away. They're just not going to go away. Just separate yourself, man. If Even if you got to be alone, it's better than being around people who's going to put you down, drain your energy, and secretly hating you and competing with you. Just limit your, your um, conversation with them. Be more of yourself. Because if you're around these people... They're going to suppress you and you're going to want to hold your head down. You know, they're going to they're going to change who you are so that they could walk all over you. You're going to be walking on eggshells around them. So just stay away from these people. Limit your activity around them. Be be more yourself. If you be more yourself, they will most likely be less attractive to you. You know what I'm saying? Less attractive to you. So yeah, that's it guys, man. Take it easy.